Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to now have for the first time the opportunity to welcome so many of you here in person to Brussels. And of course, I'd also like to extend a very warm welcome uh, to the more than 600 of you who are joining us online via our virtual events platform. It is a real pleasure to, do, to join you today, Lively, in the second edition of the European Space Forum, gathering the space community from Europe and beyond. This event that you organized could not have been more timely. Space is at the heart of the public debate as a cornerstone of resilience and security amid increasing geopolitical tensions, as a catalyst of growth, supporting the dual transitions, the green and the digital transition, as an arena for business innovation and exploration, and as such, it is an increasingly contested and congested area in need of global standardization and regulation. As the country currently holding the EU Council Presidency, the Czech Republic places space high among its priorities areas. We are devoting a lot of our attention to the secure connectivity regulation, which is now entering a crucial negotiation phase. One of the priorities of ESA's Agenda 25 is the strengthening of the relationship between ESA and the European Union. We have been working very hard together to ensure that the relationship is based on a solid foundation, taking benefit of our complementarities, providing stability and predictability for the European space sector so that national, industrial and private investment decisions can be made with confidence. So the winner is HiSight. Congratulations. And the winner is Astroscale.